All right guys, here we are with another unboxing. This time it's a little bit different. As I show in the first clip, I am going to the Oklahoma's Worst Angler um, to get my giveaway bag. Okay guys, now as I said in the clip before, I got some of this stuff from the Oklahoma's Worst Angler. Um, I'll link his page down below. He's a pretty awesome YouTuber. He has around 40,000 subscribers, I believe, give or take. And um, first giveaway I've ever won in my life. Uh, it was his Christmas giveaway, and he was just giving away, I think, four baits or so, four of which are in here. Um, we're just going to get right into it. Yeah, I won the giveaway. <laughs> and I'm pretty stoked on this um, and some of this stuff I did just get from Academy in Tulsa because uh, me and my girl went to Tulsa for our anniversary um, and while I was there I just went ahead and picked this stuff up from him so he didn't have to bother with shipping and whatnot um, he was already giving me free stuff in the first place so I figure I might as well pick it up um, so I'm gonna put everything that was not in the giveaway over here and we'll get to that in a minute i found that stuff just at an academy in tulsa uh went ahead and grabbed it um so here we go we have a monster bass hammerhead square bill um i don't know the color of it i might look up the colors here in a minute um and then we have a jerk bait a slick stick 110 see half ounce and this one is one third of an ounce all right and then here this is where the money's at we got a evergreen chatterbait there were an evergreen jackhammer my bad which is basically a chatterbait just a more expensive chatterbait and I'm not going to act like I haven't thrown this. I actually, this is the only bait out of all these that I have thrown already. I threw that at Lake Bixoma in Tulsa. So that's why there's a trailer already on here. A little uh, saucy swimmer magic shad color, I believe. So there is the jackhammer, evergreen jackhammer. And I'll have to say, this is a nice little bait. I had only used chatter baits clickbaits and whatever booyahs chatterbait is called up until this and I gotta say um not like a super noticeable difference but I do notice it does like uh gyrate like a little bit harder and I'm sure in the long run it will catch more fish um let's see what else do we have here and then another spinner now on this one, I'm not too sure of the brand on this. Um, let me see if the skirts look the same. No, I don't think the skirts are the same. I think it's hand-tied on the jackhammer. Um, this one is not hand-tied. I'm not sure because they have like almost the same colors. Well, I guess not. Similar color. This one's just a spinner. This one's a jackhammer. Um, I will be trying this in, uh, later on in the video whenever we get to some actual fishing. All right, here's the jerk bait. I like how they do this with the monster bass ones. They have a a little red hook on there and oh wait a second huh yeah I think actually on the jerk bait this wasn't the original color he was giving me the I think in the original giveaway it was a cracked or crack head or something along those lines some color I don't know it's like red and white with cracks on it this is not the same color this is a different color and it looks because there's line right there that this has actually been thrown before um, that's not a big deal though. I mean, it looks, it looks brand new pretty much. 
Yeah, it looks like there might be a little bit of rash right there from rubbing on something, but I mean, if it's been thrown, no big deal. I mean, as long as nothing's wrong with it, I don't think anything is. Looks pretty good to me. Nice little jerk bait. Put that back in the box. All right, and that leads us to the hammerhead. I wonder if this one's thrown as well. Because this one I think is the original color that uh, I saw on the giveaway. Oh wow, I might say the color on that is pretty nice. Yeah, it's got nice texture on there. The red hook, the signature red hook that all the monster bass lures have. It's a good looking square bill. Add to the collection. All right guys, now we're going to get to some of the other stuff that I just picked up. Um, these, as you can see, are some custom speed shop EVA and cork mixed paddle knobs for my uh, Luz KVD LFS reel. Now I think the ones on mine are just full EVA and then these just have the cork finish, make them just look a little bit fancier. Um, I always try to get these at the academies in OKC, but I can never find like two in a pair. Like every time I find them, there's just like one left on the rack and I'm like, well, what am I gonna do with one? So this time I found two in one spot, so I went ahead and scooped those. Um, later on in the fishing, you'll probably see these on my rod. Um, I just got some Kitec Ky Ky Custom Worms Easy Shiner 4 inch. Um, these my girl actually picked out for her. That's why two of them are missing. I put those in her little tackle box. I set her up a little tackle box because I got her a rod for her anniversary. A uh, little Shimano combo. I just set her up a little a little tackle box with some soft plastic. See there's some of the Kytex. Some worms, some flukes, uh, a couple jigs, a little spinning jig. Her first Guggen uh, crankbait right there, the mini banger, just a rebel minnow, some weights, some one eighth weights, and some six cents wide gap hooks. I think four aught on that. Um, so yeah, I just grabbed these. I'll probably end up using them more than she does, so I uh, have to try these out. I will say that the smell on all these Kytec baits are rather rancid. Um, oh God, it, it just smells really, really salty, like a mackerel, a mackerel salty smell. That's what those smell like. And then here we are. I had to grab a Whopper Plopper while they're still in stock because I heard on word on the street is, is that come spring, these are kind of hard to find. They're usually out everywhere. So I went ahead and grabbed one um, just because I saw them. And I will be ready to throw this come spring. Uh, I can't remember. Does it say what color? The Whopper Plopper. Whoa, 2009. I don't know if these were made in 2009 or if this actual plopper is from 2009. But if this is from 2009, this is basically a relic. <laughs> and there's that bait right there. Looking not too shabby. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys out on the water. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Okay, guys. Try not to spook it. But there's all these branches in the way. Okay. Oh my god, there's one right here. Oh my god, he's right here.
I'm sorry. The person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set oh up yet. Oh my god, I'm trying Please. to tell Paul that they're here, but he's not listening, so... Oh, come on. I just saw a big, big, big bass in the water, guys. eat. There was one. Dude, I get why people don't fish right here, because it's all dirty and stuff, but there's some good fish, oh my gosh, they're huge, you can see them moving around where all these clouds are in the water. Okay guys, this spot is banger, the spot that we were at, how there's too many trees I couldn't even set a hook, well, I got these puppies involved. I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna make me a little spot, and we're gonna catch one today off the monster bass stuff that I won from Oklahoma's worst angler. Where's the box? Oh, here it is. With this stuff right here. That's what we're gonna use. Oh yeah, guys, this is working out. I mean, I'm just cutting down trees like there's nothing. Oh, I'm on. Yep. Yep. Got one. First fish on the Guggen rod. Oh, it's not a big one, but it's a fish nonetheless. On the Guggen Gold Series rod. Oh man, it felt like a dream. Here we go, guys. I got one. This isn't the big fat Sally that I saw over there. Oh my god, that was one fat fish that I saw over there. But this one will suffice. I mean, at least now I have a fish. And now that the skunk's off the boat, people, I think I'm going to go all in. Um, yeah, let me just get you unhooked there, bud. These are good-looking fish. They got a nice green color. I like that. Here you go, buddy. And off he goes. Look at all this trash. I think I'm going to start cleaning up this spot. This is kind of messed up that people just throw their trash in here like this where these fish live. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I have a bag in my car. If not, next time I come here, I'm definitely going to clean this spot. I already made a nice little fishing spot right here, so I might as well finish it up and, you know, get to cleaning. Oh, 
And I'm stuck in a tree. Yeah, guys, I decided I'm just gonna clean up the spot for a second and then get back to fishing. Oh no! It's back here. Alright guys, well I gathered two bags of trash this time. I'll try to get more later. Um, I just hate I just hate to see you know these fish's homes look so bad. Uh, I'm gonna go put some hand sanitizer on. We'll get right back to fishing guys. Yeah, always remember guys, you're gonna want to keep your fishing spots clean. You know, even if you didn't make the mess, it doesn't really matter. Just a couple bags of trash uh, can make a huge difference. Oh my god, one just fucking came to the top right over there. Dude, they want top water. I know they do. They keep coming up to the top. It's Oh my god, one just fucking came to the top right over there. Dude, they want top water. I know they do. They keep coming up to the top and shit like, please, please, sir, throw me a plopper. Oh, what? Dude, I keep getting tapped. He taps it like he or she, sorry. Mom, I know you mentioned me always calling them he's. Um, I don't really know. I know that the females are usually fatter and the one that I long for it is a fat one, so I guess it really actually would be a girl. Oh, speak of the devil, there she is. There she is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No! Ah! Oh. oh my god, that could have been my PB for all I know. Oh my, am I recording? Oh my gosh, people, really? I'm throwing right back in. I'm not gonna let that discourage me. I, I'd say I caught that. I mean, pretty much. Well guys, that concludes today's video. Um, yeah, I lost that jackhammer at the very end. It really sucks, I drove all the way to Tulsa to get it and uh, barely got one fish on it. Didn't even get it out of the water all the way without it jumping off and then, I don't know, a piece of my line got stuck on a bush and while I was trying to get it out of that bush, I guess it dug into something in the water, a tree stump, something. Uh, I tried to get it out with my lure retrieval device, couldn't get it. It's totally gone, so um, I guess that concludes today's video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.